Hey, the message today is part two in a series called Foundations of America. And today we're talking about the foundations of the Bible actually in our government and in public schools. Let's pray. Father, we ask you to bless the reading of your word. We pray that you use this message to educate America, to rally Christians, to make a stand for you and for our country to make a stand to get back on the principles that you built our great nation upon. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about today is the foundation of the Bible in our government. You know, we're losing foundations every day that God built our country upon. And there are two founding documents that I want to talk about today. Number one is what our country is built on is the U.S. Constitution of Declaration. It's the founding document of America where the Declaration of Independence and Bill of Rights are put together. And so what's interesting, when you look at the, the guys that God used to pin this and build the foundation of America, 27 of the 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence are actually seminary graduates. Well, what was going through their mind when God put the foundation of our country down on paper? So it's very typical of the day that our founding fathers were godly men. And there are Bible verse after Bible verse after Bible verse in the U.S. Constitution. So the second founding document of America, which most people have no idea about, is the Bible. The Bible is a founding document of America. And our founding era in 1760 to 1805, the Bible is the most quoted source in that era, some 34% of origins of American constitutionalism is quoted. 